morning. Good morning, pumpkin. Are you still in bed? I'm coming in. Rise and shine, sleepy. It's gorgeous out. You don't want to waste the day in bed, do you? It's so early, Mom. <sighs> Come back. Honestly, you can't spend your vacation lying in bed. And d did you sleep in your brand new suit? I had a late night. It's tough being vice president of the world. You've been in office one day. Oh, if only the voters could see you now. My son, the slouch. At least go say hi to your brother. He took the day off to come and see you. You missed breakfast, by the way. Maybe you could stop by the bakery later, but don't spoil your appetite. We're having an early supper tonight. at its finest. Time no see. Good morning, um, Mr. Vice President. Gee, what do I call you now? Oh, come now. There's no need for formalities. Sir will do just fine. Oh, okay. Hey, I got you a present, sir. I left it downstairs for you. Why, little bro, you aren't trying to bribe me now that I'm in office, are you? No, of course not. It's just a little something for winning the election. I left it downstairs. just about to reveal what I swear you boys are lost without your mother, huh? All right, let's get some fresh air before all my days of our bold and the restless starts. This calls for a mother's touch. I left it on the kitchen Cha-ching! like it. Pretty nifty, huh? I absolutely love it. What is it, a laptop? I'm confused. It's a tablet. It's like a phone, but bigger. You can do your big, important work on the go now, even at a coffee shop. Ah, now you're speaking my language. What's a world leader got to do to get a cup of coffee around here? I'll take you to Moonbucks. They just opened one across the street. Let's do this!
Check it out, Ma. My adoring public, here to congratulate me on my meteoric rise to power. Actually, um, they don't look too happy. Nonsense! That's envy, you see. This is exactly why I got into politics in the first place. Imagine the headlines. VP steals car. Thing. Imagine the headline. So glad you're home, Mr. VP. Why, thank you. It's nice to relax after an election. You here for an autograph? The only signing that's going on is my sign and your face. Whoa, my face is my livelihood. Little bro, this is all you. Honey, you have to learn to fight your own battles one day. Hmm? Uh-huh. Don't forget to protect me. Walk it off. Done, team. Mr. Vice President, do you have time for an interview? What's on your mind, sir? How does it feel to be home now that you've won the election, sir? It was a hard election, and our opponents did well. I'm just glad I get to finally visit my mother now. How sweet. Keeping in touch with your roots, huh? That always looks good in the polls. The polls are great and all, but I just wanted to drop off my laundry. Three months on the road, this stuff piles up. Oh, I see. So tell me, what's the secret to that fabulous hair and your signature smile? Simple, really. Two handfuls of product and a whole lot of baking soda. Mr. Vice President, do you have time? What's on your mind, sir? That sounds right up my alley. I have a couple stories I'm tracking down first, though. I need to get some pictures of a local man's car that wound up in a lake nearby. And I need pictures for a story about how bright lights might revitalize the dwindling shipping industry. Wow, I didn't realize you were an actual journalist. Those stories sound a little over my head. Trust me, you'll want your face in these pictures. Local flavor kind of stuff. Plus, it'll help me sell the stories to papers. I need to switch my lenses. 
So why don't you go find the two locations I mentioned? You're a smart man. You'll figure them out. Don't forget to protect me. Reflexes. for the VP. Mother knows best. I knew I could do it. How'd they sneak up on us? I swear, I don't think some of these protesters have bathed in days. We got these barricades up so this doesn't spread to the rest of town. Sorry, but you can't pass. Well, how do I know you aren't an impersonator? After all, why would you be at a rally against you? Boy, logic like that and I'll make detective in no time. All right, here we go. Never doubted you for a second. You look like a man who knows where to get a good strong sarsaparilla. You're in luck, my friend. I own the local soda shop. But to be honest, I think I'll just stay here all day. This iced special blend is drinking quite well today. Guys with beards don't like being disturbed from their coffee. I'll leave him be. This protest is interrupting school. Oh well. Preposterous! Let me see what I can do about this. Well, I don't mind, so long as I got this delicious special blend. <laughs> Either he's one of those caffeine junkies you hear about or something weird. Hey, come here. Huh? Yeah, you! What can I do for you, taxpayer? I don't pay taxes. I also don't drink the coffee. Neither should you. Taxes and coffee are two of my favorite things. They contaminated the coffee. Can't you taste it? <laughs> Fine. Don't believe me. Your funeral, pal. La la 
Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. My mind was just drifting away from me there. Is something wrong? Not really. Just waiting for my manager to come in. He's never late. But oh well, I'm sure he's fine. Huh? Everyone is raving about your new special blend roast. I'll take a grenade. You mean a grande? Unfortunately, I just ran out of special blend. Hopefully, we'll restock real soon, though. Huh? Oh. Huh? Have a great day! Huh? We could use a perky girl like you. Come join us. I'm flattered, but I can't leave. My manager would kill me if I didn't restock the special blend first. Well, where is this slave driver of a manager? Oh, he's actually the sweetest man in the world. But he hasn't shown up yet to unlock the storage room. He usually opens the door back there so I can restock the special blend. <laughs> Contaminated the coffee. Can't you taste it? It's so dark and aromatic. Bold even. Too bold. I was abducted once, you know. Aliens. They ran tests on me. Back in Uranus. They walk among us. Don't you get it? Don't things seem just a little bit off to you? We need proof. It's the only way. Proof and a refill. Lots of refills. Here's what we'll do. You go find proof while I head to the police station. I'm good at talking, so let me handle that. You can track down evidence. Sound good? Stay strong, brother. Hey, Pipsqueak, why don't you watch where I'm going? <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? You can't talk to the Vice President of the World like that. The vice who? What now? Sounds like a made-up pageant to me. It's called an election. I won, so you have to do what I say. Tough guy, huh? You entered some contest and won, and you think you're better than me. You're just lucky I didn't enter. What was your talent, anyhow? Being short and flabby? <laughs> it wasn't some muscle show-off extravaganza. This is the real world, pal. Politics. Psh. Well, if you got what it politics, stop by my gym sometime. We'll see who's the tough guy. Later. Bro? <laughs> what an absolute oaf. Although, an oaf with some pretty impressive golden locks. Something weird's going on at Moonbucks. I've never heard of a substance as addictive as this special. Something weird. Please, please, out of my shop! Big Bertha's not for sale! You know how many hungry protesters I got out there? This backwater town's got nothing but donuts and coffee. And I gotta feed them somehow. Now are you gonna sell me that comically jumbo donut or not? You wouldn't want that mob to start protesting you, would you? Well, hey, did it get good looking in here, or was that just me? The man of the hour arrives. You got courage showing your face round here. You mean, in a bakery? Well, carbs are my weakness. Speaking of weakness, I hope there's no hard feelings about the election. Better luck next time. Tell me, have you been enjoying my demonstration since you came home? I have. It's nice seeing my face all over town. And here I thought you might be a sore loser. You haven't noticed your face is crossed out on those signs? You, you got my face crossed out, but there's those no signs. I thought it's a double negative, like don't cross my face out. I'm giving a speech later by Mount Pom Pom. You should drop by. <laughs> And this isn't over, Tubby. I'll be back for that donut. Hey, youngin'. 
Let's chat for a spell. What can I do you for? Hello there, young. Oh, who you calling young? I was building barns before your grandma was even born. Whoa, how old are you? Let's see, plus seven, carry the one, carry the two, hat ants ten years. Don't worry about all that. All you should worry about is this. Holy democracy, this looks delicious. I know, right? Who'd have thought you could plant a donut? Um, well, not me, but that's genius. It's sustainable, too. You bring me a few donut pieces, and I can plant more donut crops. Hey, youngin, let what can I do you for? Hmm? Mother knows best! I knew I could do it! Hey, youngin! What can I do you for? Uh-uh! Hmm... Capitalism at its finest! Phil, come in! How can I help you? Huh? You want something to munch on? Come back s Hey, young- What can I- Hmm? Get to protect me. You're grounded. I've got your back, bro. Uh, Why me? Oof. Impressive. <laughs> well done, team. All right, here we go. Why me? Ooh, ouch. <laughs> well done, team. Good luck. That feel. You're proud. Keep it up. This calls for a celebration. Good luck. Protect me. <laughs> Never doubted you for a second. Don't forget to protect me. Why me? 
Just walk it off. I've got your back, bro! Well done, team! Sorry, sir, the road to Camp Cuckoo is closed for now. Why, it's only the most gorgeous, fun-filled campground on the planet. Although, I probably shouldn't talk it up so much. After all, I'm under strict orders not to let anyone pass. Animal. What a weird way to start a conversation. I'd say the Crested Owl. They're testing well right now in the polls. Let me guess, you like kitties. No, silly, I don't like kitties. Oh? I love them! They're so cute and cuddly. I could just eat them right up. But I wouldn't do that because then there wouldn't be any left. <laughs> Today's my kitties and I are ready for action, sir. Hmm? Today's my kitties and I are ready for action. Hmm. Depends. You know, uh, some of my recruits are allergic to you. I mean, allergic to your cat. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Then there's nothing to worry about. All of mine are still kitties, but five of mine are missing. We gotta find them first. If you help me find them, then I'll know you're a kitty lover. Capitalism at its finest. Hmm. Do we have to communicate verbally? Is there a dialogue option that appears? Hey, I know you. Finally, someone who appreciates me for me. You say something? Uh, hold that thought. I'm in the middle of something. What the heck? I swear this all worked yes. Ahem. You were saying you. Yeah, you're that vice president guy, right? I so voted for you. Really? It's so nice to meet a fan. I actually voted for you several times. I kind of hacked into the database and added a few extra votes. <laughs> Ooh, let's call that our little secret, shall we? Do we have to commit? Is there a dialogue option? Uh-uh. Hmm. Thank you. 